What's up, everyone? <laughs> it's Nathan again. Um, kind of sorry that this is a little bit late because I had this. Um, not gonna go into that my details, but there was just parties on the weekend, and yesterday I had a long day at school and whatever. Well, you can sort of see I'm in my uniform because in about two hours I actually have to go to school for some sort of awards night, which I don't really want to go to. But anyway. We're here to talk about key points in my life. Well, yeah, my life, and I want to alert your attention back to what I said last week about the badge. And that badge means a lot to me, and <laughs> gives me a constant reminder of uh, just that time. So, I'm just going to go back into that because that was a bit of a key point in my life. The, the whole story that my friend committed suicide and that happened on the 2nd of September this year. It's been about three months now. Uh, since there's a key point, I might as well just tell you the whole story. See, what happened that day is that he got up, this is the day after his birthday, he got up and he found basically forced him up because he pulled an all-nighter because of all the schoolwork and that's how devoted he was to everything. So, <clears throat> after that, he got dragged along to school and then he basically went on his normal day until about, I think, 2 o'clock where he left his blog post while he was in his um, one of his classes. And that blog post is still there. I still have the link to that blog and I don't like seeing it. <laughs> For obvious reasons, but I um, I read it. Um, we uh, when, at the time I read it. It was about two o'clock. So after that time, he um, left his bag at school, walked out basically, and he walked around for around um, a shopping centre for about two hours. Sent an email to his ex-girlfriend, and then chose to end it and jump in a secluded place. And then somebody eventually came along and found his body, tried to resuscitate him, but that didn't work. Now, that's a little bit to take in, but it is a key point in my life. Reason being, he is one of my, was basically one of my really good friends. It's one of those friendships where time doesn't mean anything. It's one of those timeless things where when you, I'll put it this way. How often is it when you go and you meet somebody and you click, you click like that, instantly, instant click, and you get along so well, absolutely well, and you stay in contact with them for however long it takes. That's how it was with me and him. I met him in June this year and we caught on like a house on fire, I guess, and, and it's been that way ever since until that day. Uh, I always, I always ask myself, you know, why did he do it, and how come he left everyone behind? Because we're all here, we're all still in pain about it, and yeah, it's just something that's always been in my mind. I always think I don't, I don't forget about him. I don't. It's, you know, I've been to counseling and stuff like that and about all of this, and the best thing that they said is that. It just gets easier as the months go by. The anniversaries, months, are certain, are certain turn to years and everything. And, you know, it just gets easier and easier and easier. Which I guess is a good thing, but to lose someone that's close to you, and it was a bit of a blow. Now, we didn't even go to the same school. And it was just something out of school which you know, we met through and I don't regret it. I don't regret going to that party to find him because I would not have met him. I would not have had so many friendships like I used that I have now and, you know, I think that's the best bit about it. Yes, but I still consider it a key point in my life because I've never had this someone this close that I've been so attached to just, you know, leave in a second. See that night that I found out, I couldn't believe it. 
his cousin actually called and directed me to his blog and the first thing she told me was to read it. I opened up the link, um, read it, stared in horror at what was written there and I was in denial for a few moments. But, you know, that soon I kind of found out that, well, yeah, it's true, he actually did kill himself, which is a big blow. That next day was a huge blow, and I don't remember anything that's happened that day, and all I remember is going to school, then going to a friend's school afterwards, afterwards to see how everyone is. <coughs> I don't blame myself for it. I know, I shouldn't. And I don't. Because there's nothing that I could have done to stop what he did, you know. And I can't turn back the clock. I can't go into the past and say, you know, I wish I could have known him better, or I wish I'd talked to him. Because I can't really. I can't do that. Whoops, that was a door. <laughs> uh, that's the hardest bit. I guess moving on when you have so many people behind you that aren't moving on and all you want to do is help them and I can't move on really unless they do because all I'll be doing is listen to their sorrows and their pains and everything but uh, this is a good learning experience for me um, if you asked me a week ago to explain all this well <laughs> I couldn't without breaking down or something like that, but I've actually come to terms with telling the story and it's, uh, I'm getting used to telling the story. I don't keep it inside anymore. I only ask, I only tell people if um, somebody asks, so and that's how it is for me, I guess. Uh, as you can see, I don't actually have my guitar with me. Uh, seriously, if anybody here wants me to play it every single time I make a video blog then that's fine. I will, but it's actually there, like this down there. So um I don't mind doing it. Uh I'm just curious to see if anybody wants me to do it every week then I'll do it every week. It's not a problem. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's the only key point in my life that I can talk about that can fill in this whatever 10 minute time frame but um, there are other key points but not enough to uh, not enough to fill in 10 minutes so um, I don't think there's anything else I can fit in other than that but the thing uh, since I might as well just say this, I actually haven't visited his grave since that day. I don't know why I haven't, but I just haven't visited his grave. I've made myself a promise that next week I'm actually going to go and visit his grave, so... Uh, I guess that's good, huh? Seeing that thing for the first time since that day of the burial, so... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not... I'm sort of looking forward to it, but also sort of scared. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Um, I'm just curious, so uh, <laughs> I'll head up there about next week. Um, I guess that's it. That's it for this week. Um, again, sorry for being a little bit late, but, you know, it's okay then. I'll... I guess I'll talk to you... Saturday? <laughs> Alright then. See you guys. Nathan.